I'm Andrew Wilson, the Technical Manager for ICL, and I'm here today at NIAB in Cambridge, one of our two locations for our Osmocote 5 introductory demo trials. So as part of Horticultural Science Online, I'm doing an update on the trial here at NIAB. Now you can see the species involved are Fatinias and, and Holly. They're quite demanding species and being evergreens they grow late into the season and it really tests the longevity of, of the product. Now the trial is set up looking at peat reduced growing media with 40% fibre grow and also peat free. And we have three replicates of each treatment and that's quite a fastidious test so, so that we can see any variation across it. Now the trial has been set up to look at the effectiveness of our new fifth generation Osmocote 5. And to do this we're comparing it with our Osmocote Exact High End and Osmocote Exact Standard products um, to see how it compares. Now one of the traditional challenges for growers of peat-free products, particularly with vigorous species like laurels, has been maintaining leaf colour throughout the season. And quite a few growers will recognise plants such, such as this, this one, where the plants are quite stunted and have very pale foliage um, and exhibiting nitrogen deficiency. And this, this is the key to peat-free growing, is having the nutrients available throughout the season when the crop needs it. Now both of these plants were potted at the same time, but you can see the difference, how much growth we've lost in this plant by not having enough nitrogen available at the right time when it was flushing. So you can see the effect on the leaf colour. And as part of our trial, we're monitoring the chlorophyll level in the leaves using a spad meter. Now looking at the trial overall, we can see the peat reduced plants on this side and the peat free plants over here. And when you look at them, the peat reduced plants are slightly taller, the peat free slightly more compact, but overall the, the real message that I see with the Osmocote 5 is the strong leaf colour. And on the tips of these vitinias you can see really bright red growth and the older leaves are dark green. And that's the same in the hollies, we've got these really dark green leaves. And that's, that's coming through from the Osmocote 5 with the efficiency of the release and the really good trace element package. I'm here with my colleague Steve Chapman and we're just recording some of the measurements and looking at the crop overall. These plants were potted in the spring and we're now late in the autumn. As we was growing these for a trial we haven't pinched them out. But as you can see they've got an ideal leaf colour even though we are this late in the season. With the challenges of growing in peat free in the past this is hard to believe that this is grown in a sustainable growing media. Now we're looking at some plants from last year's trial, potted on the 1st of August 2020, and we've got peat free and peat reduced. And these plants were potted with Osmocote 5, and it was incorporated into the growing media, and, and they've had no further nutrition apart from what's coming out of the granule. So it shows the longevity of the Osmocote 5, that even after over 12 months, there's still nutrition in that granule. Obviously, normally these plants would have been sold or potted on, but, but it's a real test of the product. This is Ilex Wilsonite and, it, and it's grown in a peat reduced mix with Osmocote 5 and we've got a really good root establishment there, um, looking great. So we can see the great root establishment there in the peat 3 again with Osmocote 5 and the key thing to look at is the, the dark green older leaves and the really intense red new growth um, this, this late in the season. So I'm here this morning at our second trial site, which is a working nursery on the south coast. And this is very similar to the trial at NIAB. We're using the same treatments. Um, we have the same sort of plants, hollies and fatinias, um, just a slightly different cultivar of fatinia. So this is the second year that we've done trials on this site. And the good growing conditions here mean, mean that we can extend the trial. So I've done 11 treatments here as opposed to the four treatments that we did at NIAB. So having the extra treatments allows us to explore the effective rates on plant growth and, and quality. So the trial focuses on peat reduced Leventon advanced growing media and peat free Leventon advanced sustained growing media. And we're looking at treatments and how we modify them to get the best results. So the trial uses Osmocote products in two longevities, 8 to 9 month and 12 to 14 month. And we want to establish the best rates for optimum plant growth and quality. 
The trial was potted up in early May and we're now here at the end of September. So giving you an overview of the trial, the plants behind me are in Leventon Advanced Peat Reduced and the plants on my left are in Leventon Advanced Sustained Peat Free Grow Media. So one of the reasons for having two trial sites is to have different growing conditions. But another important factor is the water quality. And the trials we did at NIAB had a very hard water source and you can see a, a, a white deposit on the leaves. Here on this site you can see the water quality is very good and with a lower bicarbonate level and cleaner leaves. Now as part of this trial we're using a weather station to monitor the climate data and within the trial we notice variations you know, throughout the season in terms of rainfall and temperature. Now looking at the weather this season obviously you can see it's quite a windy site and we've got lots of wind data but we've noticed that it was quite a cool spring and the summer temperatures weren't as high as the previous summer and we've had quite heavy rain compared to the previous year. So these are things that we take into account with our trial data. So we followed on the main trial that was potted in, in May with this trial that was potted a few weeks ago. And it's important to look at overwintering of late potted stock. So we'll be following up this trial again in the spring to see how well the plants have overwintered and monitor the leaf colour before spring sale. Now these are some plants from last year's trial, some Eliagnus bingii and some Prunus lorosaracus. They were grown in Leventon Advanced Sustained Growing Media with Osmocote 5. And a year on, we're potting them on into 12 litre pots, again using Leventon Advanced Sustain with Osmocote 5. And we'll be looking at different rates and monitoring the results in the spring. So looking at the results in terms of the peat free and the peat reduced grown media, we can see clearly that the peat reduced plants are slightly bigger than the, than the peat free. But an encouraging factor with the Osmocote 5 is that the peat free has a very dark green leaf colour and the, and the growth is very good. So looking at the trial with the 11 different treatments, we can see differences between them. And one of the key things we've noticed, particularly with the peat free, is that the buffering of nutrients is lower and there's more chance of leaching of nutrients. So that's why it's important that the higher rates of osmocote are used. Another factor that we've noticed is that the water-soluble based fertilisers are easily leached. And where we've used a controlled release starter fertiliser, that has generally improved the results that we see. So we can see from the trials that osmocote 5 forms a key part of the nutrition of peat-free and peat-free growing media. But an, another thing to consider is the nitrogen source. And from the trials, we can see that using a slow release or controlled release form of nitrogen, such as Osmoform or Osmocote N, has significantly improved the plant quality and leaf colour and early growth. While we've been conducting these trials, we've paid close attention to the water and the amount of water used within the trials. And it's slightly different than using a peat based growing media. We've had to monitor the pots and pick them up to ensure that they actually need watering. It's very easy to overwater peat-free growing media because it can seem dry on the surface but can actually be damp underneath. And it's helped in the treatments that had the H2 grow granules. It's really helped with the wetting and holding more water, which has reduced the amount of water that we needed to, work to apply. But in terms of a water strategy for peat-free, I would look at the irrigation cycles and reduce them slightly in time, but have them slightly more frequently. Because if you overwater peat free, you will leach out a lot of nutrients. So we can clearly see that Osmocote 5 is delivering for the next generation of growing media, which is peat free and peat reduced. The results show clearly that Osmocote 5 delivers in terms of its higher nitrogen content, its enhanced trace element delivery, and its optimum S-curved release pattern.